Here are some demonstrations of some advanced word processing tips. First of all, locate the assignment. So in this case, it's called Jack's assignment. Copy and paste that into a document. First of all, we're going to show you how to highlight text. So the little button that you can see the cursor is on at the moment, you just click on the word that you want highlighted and then click on that button and it becomes that color. The little drop box to the right of it will um, enable different colors to be selected. The next thing that I'm going to demonstrate is how to review your document by um, inserting track changes or comments. So you click on the review button and you can see you get a new toolbar. So the first thing that you might um, do is select a word and then make a comment. So you click on the new button over on the left hand side and then you type in the text that you want to comment. So you might say to Jack, whose assignment um, had made the mistake, Jack, you have used the incorrect word here. So it's actually providing some positive feedback on how to correct his work. The next thing you might want to do is um, track changes. So the little button track changes, you need to turn that on. And then once you start editing work, the track changes will appear. So you can see there's a vertical line in the column um, where we added a space between we and wondered. You can also see where Mary has been changed to uppercase. It's changed um, the word typing it in a red colour so you can see that that has been edited. So that's quite handy. Back on the home toolbar you can see you've got strike through. So if you select a word and click on the strike through button it will put a line through the word. So that's another great editing tool. On the insert menu we've got quite a few tools that we can use. You can add a text box and that just enables us to put um, text anywhere on the screen and the words will wrap around it or they can go behind it and it's basically just a box that you write text in. Next we can go into inserting the shape and this enables lots of different shapes to be added to the um, text and that includes boxes, circles and call out um, windows or call out boxes and so these can be added wherever you like and um, altered as you deem fit so we can have the um, the pointer going anywhere, we can resize the box, we can turn it around, we can recolor it and we can fill it. So that's just another handy tip. Of course, you can add text to the call out box because that's what you want to be able to do. If you go to the format menu, you can actually change the fill colors of your text box or call out box or any of your shapes that you insert. So you can create effects with shadow effects, um, you can change the line color and you can also change the um, style or the shape by clicking and dragging along with the um, corner boxes. You can very easily change the style of the fonts by clicking on the quick style and um, you can see that there are a variety of ones there and again you can change the effects on the actual font that you've chosen or the style that you've chosen for the font. Finally, you may want to add um, borders and shading to your actual document. So you can um, put borders on the page or actually just on the text that you've select, chosen. Um, there's automatic, you can change the width or you can have art, art um, different types of art that creates borders around your page. Um, that's just to show you yet another way of editing your document. You can also go to the Smart Art um, ribbon or toolbar and choose a variety of smart art to use in your word processing document now. For this um, actual task you probably wouldn't use any of the um, list, process, cycle, hierarchy or relationships but you may go to edit the shape. So within editing shape you can see you've got all your basic shapes and there's a variety of call out but, um, tools or buttons that you can use and you can instantly change what you've selected to one of those call outs and then of course you can move your call out um, arrow to wherever you want on the text so that's always a handy thing also. So that's about it with um, just a few little tips and hints of different tools that you could use to edit your word processing document.